Hi there, this is Bob, and we're going to do a little demonstration here, more with a little demonstration with my liquid capacitor. I wanted to demonstrate something that I didn't do on the last video, so I thought I'd do it here. This is still May 23rd, 2012, but I wanted to show you this. And explain, if I can, the action of a discharging capacitor. And I think I can do it because this thing, gives, the liquid gives me, the way I have it set up in the, in the liquid dielectric in the jar, if we go over this like I did last time, we got a bottom plate here. We got the liquid, this is uh, vegetable oil, and then I have the top plate, which is in the shape of a cone. It's not, uh, it, does, it does have a bottom plate inside the cone. It's just, a, it's a, approximately an eighth inch to three sixteenths above the surface of the liquid. And over here on your left, <clears throat> I have, yeah, electroscope now that's hooked in with the bottom plate and the bottom plate is going to be negatively charged with the Wimhurst goes right to the charge negative charge terminal on the Wimhurst and the top plate is positive but that you saw me if you saw the other video you, you and you'll see it here how it charges up how turbulent the fluid is and if you notice that the uh, neg electroscope, which is negative charged, how the leaves are opening. And I'm going to charge this up. When, it, when the turbulence settles down, it's pretty close to its full charge capacity. And like I showed in the other video, the, the top plate is oscillating because it's just being suspended from a hanger and it just is allowed to, to move and it does move. It's responding to the zones of negative and positive charge in the fluid and that's exactly what it's responding to. Now, what I want to show you is the discharge. I've got to, that's high enough. I'm going to, I'm going to slowly bring, there, you saw that, heard it. Watch the leaves on, watch the leaves on the electroscope. When it discharges, these leaves will collapse momentarily. And I didn't realize it there. See how they, what it, well they, they, when the current goes through, the negative, you see how it jumps? Just watch, it'll do it again. And the uh, top plate's oscillating on its own starts to, to move. You see? Now watch the top of the fluid if you can. I hope the camera's picking that up. When that discharges, and you may be able to hear the snap. There's a small arc. I've got the two terminals about discharge there. See the fluid react? And it reacts at the same rate of time that the leaves on the negative do. Now what that means is when you're discharging, there, when, when you discharge through the cone back into the system, it momentarily puts a high charge in the leaves. You'll see how the leaves are jumping open and then they relax. Well what the cone is doing when they 
energy is transferred, it's moving out of the system. And when that collapses, when you hear that arc, that's a sudden collapse. And there's a reaction time between the fluid and the upper plate. And that causes the fluid to jump because it momentarily is reversed. It's actually when the, when the current, when the charge moves up, it, this is very sudden, and it leaves a negative charge. And because the fluid is negative on this side, for the most part, it repels it. And that's the jumping you see in the fluid. And then it'll reorient. The, and then there's still enough charge that it starts drawing it. This becomes slightly positive, so it starts pulling again, and the cycle starts all over again. It goes, it's there. And now it's the, enough positive in there that it's going to start pulling the negative. And it starts pulling it. And when it gets close enough, it will. And, you'll, and when that happens, it jumps, and there's a reaction time, and it's it's momentarily negative against negative and you can see that that is a discharge but that shows you what I was talking about what Lord Kelvin had discovered with capacitors that they this is discharging at a very very slow low frequency there that's one frequency but it, in a normal capacitor and you've seen me demonstrate capacitors in other videos it's very rapid very high frequency now it doesn't generate a neg it what it's doing it's peaking and then it's dropping down peaking and dropping down and it's that sudden collapse and when this moves when the current moves up and it collapses that field at the cone is momentarily negative and so is the fluid, so that's why they repel. That's why you see the jump. Normally, uh, well, not normally, all capacitors, they they work, they discharge at what is called the exp exponential curve. And you look that up, and you can study it. And it doesn't just work with capacitors. The <clears throat> exponential curve works with fluids, and. Uh, as you notice, it, no, after a while, the charge has dropped down enough, and I can't, it's it's not discharging. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, as I just move it in, just ever so slightly, you'll see that it picks up the rate again. You see? And if you watch the fluid and the leaves in the negative charge electroscope, you will see that they react at precisely the same time. And that, it goes on and on, and each time it slows down, I can move the, the two terminals closer together. Right now, they're roughly 3 sixteenths apart, air gap. There, I moved it. I don't have to move it much to start it up. Now I'm going to bring them in. Now it's going to be a little quicker because I moved it in so close. And you probably, you can see the fluid moving around, just a little reacting to it. Is it's pulsing quicker, but that is that is what is happening with the charge. That's why you get the jump, is because when this when this thing jumps the gap, the current flows through, it momentarily reverses polarity and becomes negative, and the fluid surface is negative. Therefore, it repels it. Likes repel, opposites attract. Now it's gone back to positive. We still have a negative in the fluid, and it'll build up a charge and eventually discharge. And it's doing it pretty fast now. Just look at the way the every time those leaves move, that's a discharge. When they when they open up, it, and it's going pretty fast now. And I got. About a sixteenth of an inch air gap there. Now this will go on for quite a while, no problem. 
Okay, now I'm going to touch them. And it's still going on. But you see that it, there's no arc because they are touching. So the leaves here are pretty steady. So it's just a steady draw now. And that'll go on. And you can still see that there's a, a currents in the few uh, polarity change. And because the cone is is oscillating and that's doing it's on its own okay i just wanted to show you that talk to you later bye